This is episode number 192 of the Middle Country Public Library podcast. Let's get up there. Yeah. Uh, I'm Sal, uh, here with Sarah Hello. and Nicole. And we mentioned, <laughs> Nicole's like, yeah, yep. okay. Yeah. <laughs> we mentioned last week, um, Sarah had an audible gasp. Do you remember mm-hmm. that, Sarah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> An audible guest <laughs> yes. while looking at Canopy mm-hmm. uh, that they had this one particular movie from, uh, was it 2005? Yeah, it's oldie. It's an oldie, um, and we're going to see if it's a goodie or not. And it was The Descent. Mm-hmm. So we said this week we'd talk about it. Mm-hmm. So uh, we all watched the movie. Spoiler alert, we're definitely going to talk about spoilers. And I think this might be a movie that could be spoiled by our discussion yeah all right so oh, yeah, so pause it come back after you watch it and uh and there you go so sarah mm-hmm. uh first of all this is a horror movie yes and this is your genre i won't say it's my genre this but your... <laughs> when i saw this movie i didn't know what to expect and i, and I particularly liked it um because it was one of the better mm-hmm. horror films i felt um, for many reasons, because I don't like I don't like tight spaces. Mm-hmm. So like, uh, and I've, obviously you guys don't either. Mm-hmm. No. That made me very uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you add on like they have like creatures in it, and mm-hmm. it's a okay. little actiony. So mm-hmm. so what is what is the yeah. descent about? So the descent is a horror f- horror genre film that uh, is about I think five women go on a trip. It's in based in the uh, Appalachian Mountains. And they go spelunking, and they think they're in a in a well known cave, and they're not. They go into an unmarked cave that's new, a new system, as they put it, and uh, things go very badly for them. And then it's the tale of them trying to survive mm-hmm. this horrible spelunking trip. <laughs> this trip, yes. Trip from yeah. And you mentioned there are some scenes in this that are very claustrophobic yeah so uh so i would never ever go spelunking ever Especially would you go to like Lorray caverns like where you walk i went down you know it's funny because i are... went i was in puerto rico and i went and there's a famous cave system in puerto rico uh-huh. that i went to and i didn't like it okay <laughs> and but it was huge it wasn't like you yeah, know you were like you out know. and about with other people you could fit in a golf cart and drive yeah. around in these caves right. yeah. that's yeah. how big it was so it wasn't like you know yeah, I went to Howe's Caverns upstate. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, same thing. Big, you walk through them. You take a boat coming back the other way. The only tight space is if you want to. You don't have to. It kind of leaves around, but it's very, very tall. So you're not crawling through anything. You're still standing up, mm-hmm. but, like, it's a little bit more, like, it's, you know, it's, it's like a little like... bit wider than your shoulder. Like, you can fit through it. You don't have to turn sideways or nothing. You can go straight, but it's tall. Penn Station during rush hour. Right, yeah. But <laughs> this one... The, like real spelunky in the movie is like cr- crawling through yes. these tight spaces. Not like you can't turn around. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing that is not only is it like super claustrophobic, but then like you don't know what's up next. Like wh- uh-huh. what? What? I was like, <laughs> if they were like, Sarah, you go first. I'm like, uh, no, you go first. No, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even. Have, first of all, they, they, whatever, they rappel down. And then the first, I was like, how do they get back up? So That's like, what I said. Like they have a rope. I'm like, I, that doesn't answer my question. But how do they get? Yeah, like oh, I've seen it. In, I've seen it not in live live action. What do they climb back up? It's it yeah, is like a, a thing. Like up, you yeah. you oh, you have to have like strength, upper body strength. Yeah, and but you pull yourself up, and it's like a, a weird. <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems. Yeah, it's like use your feet. And I was like, yeah. no, no, <laughs> they 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 know what they're doing. These women, they're they're tough yeah. chicks, and uh, yeah, yeah, some of them are tough. more. Tough than others. Than other like some like this is what they do like Juno and yeah. like um, maybe Beth Holly the one yeah. Ch- Holly yeah. no that's what they do the other one is like oh I'm gonna be a doctor the other one's like I'm an English teacher I'm not a Tomb Raider yeah so like but they all have experience in this some way apparently they do this every year like yes. a recreational right. they're a group of friends who adventurers. do adventures yeah like adrenaline so w- yeah people. why didn't you bring up though th- there's a, a Cat, this this movie kind of starts within the first four minutes. Something <laughs> ridiculous happens, like something Ugh. very shocking and ridiculous. Oh, I don't think it's ridiculous. Well, it's terrible. It's an awful, traumatic experience. So, okay. So this is a complete spoiler. Well, not really. It's four minutes in. But so Sarah, one of the main characters, yes. she has a husband and, and a young daughter, and they were killed. They, so it opens up with the the group of girls on a rafting trip Mm -hmm. and the husband and and daughter of this um, main character Sarah is there to pick him up and on the way back from this trip they are killed in a 
tragically in an accident. Yes. The husband and the daughter. Yeah. Yes. And then, uh, so it's about that. And then apparently, you know, you can kind of guess that Juno, another main character, is having an affair with the husband that died. And so there's like sticky situations. And then when they, I think how many years later? A year. A year. It's only a, a year. year. It's only a year. Yeah. So a year later, they all go on yeah. this on Smart. This Let's yeah. Let's let's do something. Let's do something fun. Yeah. Well, to them it's fun. Yeah. I don't to them think it's fun. fun. Right. Yeah. And they were like, let's do it for Sarah to help her. Yeah. It's like a year anniversary or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And then so, Juno picks yeah. this cave, cave that no one's, been, no one's in. been in. And no one knows she did that though. No. Yeah. Because apparently there's like two rules. You schedule a flight plan or whatever it's yeah. called. So you're telling people like we're going do this kid's blocking yes. expedition mm-hmm. so if you don't return they come and look for you exactly where you told them you'd be but apparently this doesn't exist so no one knew that they were there so they were trapped they they like no one was coming for them so they had to figure out how to get out of this because no one's yeah. coming right i, I would <laughs> say that that for me juno was the villain of this film no i don't yes. think so yes yeah, she was i don't think so at all Yes. I felt bad for her. Well, a fact that she was she a had selfish a- person who wanted to fix the relationship that she had with Sarah <laughs> by maybe let's do something where we're both possibly going to get killed. Well, she didn't think that. <laughs> you know. She didn't know that there were like weird creatures in the mountain that wanted to kill them for food. Yeah. So that's the other half of the movie. Right. Oh, yeah. So, that yeah, it's about 45 minutes before yeah. the creatures come. Yeah. So the first half, you're just like, oh, God, this is like spelunking gone wrong, horribly right. wrong, and you're uncomfortable, and you're like, oh, my God. And then, as if this trip could not get any worse for these women, <laughs> these horrible underground creatures are living in these caves that are out to get them because they're hungry. Yes, mm-hmm. and they're humanoid Creatures. Yeah. Definitely humanoid. Yes. And when I looked, like, uh, when I did some research for mm-hmm. this after I saw the movie, I didn't want to spoil it for myself, but after I saw the movie, the director was saying that he wanted these creatures to be humans that somehow, or cavemen, I think was the word oh, he used, right, yeah. that somehow uh, decided or ended up because of evolution or something to stay, yeah. to stay right. underground. Uh, and they evolved underground, yeah. so they don't. They they're blind, right? right. Yeah. The, one of the, the the ladies picks up on. on yeah. yeah. They're blind. They hunt echolocation right. like, bats. like bats. Yeah. But they're very human, right? Because they have a little family. They have little families. Like because they had a like wife the kid and, a kid. and the mom and the, yes. yeah. they had a wedding band on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did not. <laughs> <laughs> one was taking the garbage out. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke that me and Steve were making the whole time. <laughs> when they like wind up, it looks like they're like dining room that they like drag these people to and like feast on them. And so we make a joke about like having people over for dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the second part of the film. Right. As this goes on, I mean, they're be- basically being picked off. Right. I think you yeah. started with six, I think was the actual number. Mm, there was six yeah. of them. And then they're all picked off uh, one at a time almost. Uh, but you had mentioned these ladies are very capable of mm-hmm. handling themselves, mm-hmm. which is actually something that I liked about the movie mm-hmm. because you had a cast of six strong women who can hold their own, especially Juno is mm-hmm. like breaking yeah. necks and uh, <laughs> flipping over. And yeah. There was one scene where like mm-hmm. it was almost uh, kind of like one of these uh, martial arts kind of thing where the, the two of them are in the middle and uh-huh. these guys, these Creatures are coming after them, and they're kicking them in the face, and they're flying around and all this kind of stuff. They're, yeah. like, back-to-back doing it. Yeah, well, yeah. that's one of the things about the movie, because it is it is older, and at that time, there's not a lot of horror films that had strong female right. characters, let alone an all-female cast. It is an all-female cast. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, uh... Yeah, they killed the... They killed the the guy off pretty quickly in the beginning. Yeah, they don't need him. And then, uh, of course, all the crawlers, which they which they were ter- mm-hmm. coined the, the mm-hmm. term that they coined for the production. The crawlers yeah. are all, except for the One. lady crawler, yeah. they're all uh, they're all guys. Yeah. So they kick in butt. So what happens, Sarah, at <laughs> at the end? Well, the thing is, okay. <laughs> so this we're get we're coming up to pretty much the controversial part of this movie. Well, okay, so the thing is, I mean, there's a little, some jump scares that are a little cheesy, right? Mm. And, uh, you know, after, I haven't, like, I saw it when it first came out. Mm-hmm. So when it first came out, I was like, oh, it was really good. In the theater you saw it? No, 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 okay. no, on the DVD. <laughs> but um, 
after watching it after you know it's now 2021 yeah. you know mm-hmm. so i was like oh, it's, a, it's a little dated it's a little old but i still enjoyed it a lot mm-hmm. and uh the ending when i saw it first had yes. a different ending mm-hmm. and then when i saw it uh, you know when we rewatched it for for the podcast i was like this is not the ending i saw mm-hmm. so apparently there's two endings there's the american ending mm-hmm. and then the director's cut or the uk and they call it the uk ending. this yeah. is a this just so you know this is a uk film yeah yeah all the women i couldn't tell where juno was meant to be from though juno had a weird accent she had almost an american accent but everyone else was from the uk she is yeah. yes so she is from hong kong so she does have yeah. a british accent an english accent oh, okay. in real life but it was like very muted like but she yeah. compared was, to the other she was playing it American. American. Okay, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. how I. That's what I. Yeah, came across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you just kind of have to not think about why they're in America when they're yeah. clearly not American. Yes. Yeah. I was I was fooling around at, at one point. Yeah. There was very there were a lot of Irish accents at yeah. the beginning. I was expecting yeah. Bono to come in, and <laughs> start singing a song or something like yeah. that. Yeah. You just have to go with it. Mm. Yeah. But uh, they don't explain it, and uh, you know, you just go with it. Mm. They're on vacay in in yeah. the Appalachians. But uh, so the ending for us and w- with the Americans is that she, Sarah, escapes by doing something I think is very backstabbish. I don't think she needed to do that. It's a little nuts. I no, think- say say what she so so she finds out somehow. Okay, well, if you really want to yeah. go into it, so yeah. Juno kills these walkers or whatever and the first time she meets them so she's like what the heck you know and she's like high on adrenaline then this other girl who i think is sarah's like bestie yeah is there and i don't know why she didn't say hey juno but yeah. she just kind of like silently yeah. yes. goes up behind her quiet I don't even walker know. yes yeah and then she tap her or i don't know what she did but <laughs> yeah. She like, did something, and then yeah. Juno like spins around and like ice picks her neck, yeah. Yeah. and she dies, but not on purpose, just mm-hmm. because she right. was yeah. hopped up on a jet. Yes, one yeah. hundred yes, percent. She did not mean to kill Beth, and no. well, she didn't kill Beth technically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, which is, yeah. but yeah, which is kind of crazy because yeah. there's a lot of time in between the impaling yeah. and yeah. death. So that happens, and then Sarah finds out. Also, not only was Juno seeing her husband but then also beth you know she told the truth kind of but said you know watch out for juno she can't be trusted she killed me right yeah. which mm-hmm. is kind of the truth but, but also it, not it was an accident it was yeah it wasn't like malicious right. you know so then sarah's like unhinged and they did say in the beginning of the movie be careful when you're cave you know spelunking because you get paranoid mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you can you know get all these side effects from being in the dark and etc so then Sarah kind of goes off the rails. The two of them are the sole survivors, Juno and Sarah. Mm-hmm. And then you have all these walkers going after them. They're kind of, I don't know if they realize that they can get out at this point. But Sarah, in her infinite wisdom, decides to take out Juno by ice picking her knee mm-hmm. and using, you know, using her as bait for them and then taking a run for it. Yeah. So she gets out and she's driving away in her car and she has like a very nice breakdown, like well, rightfully so. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so the American version ends with her driving away and then her just seeing like her kid and Juno in the car and freaking mm-hmm. out. Yeah. However, in the UK version, which you have to watch. Oh, yeah. And I'll put that in the show notes. The UK. Yeah. The, the ending is on YouTube. Yeah. So she's driving away and that you'll see the American ending, but and then it goes on for like maybe two more minutes. Yeah. Right? Oh, more yeah, minutes, yeah. Three more minutes. Where yeah. Sarah then wakes up she just hallucinated that she escaped. She's still in the cave. And then she hallucinates a flashback from her daughter's birthday of her daughter blowing oh, up yeah. her birthday cake. So she's really still in the caves. She imagined that whole yes. thing. And yes. and presumed, None of them got out a lot. Yes. Pres- yes. So, which is much better. Which is much better. Right. It's not what the film company ended up going with because they actually ended up doing the American version as canon, quote unquote. Mm. They created Descent 2, part two, Mm-mm. in which she yeah, did get that. out. Yeah. And other spoiler alert, Juno is still alive yeah. in Descent uh. 2. <laughs> the movie takes place, I think, a couple days later. Good. And yeah. yes, and, and, and she's actually, Juno's been like holding her own down there. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> they go back for her. Yeah. Uh, so anyway. Um, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, but the sense who takes like place what, a few days, a few, a few yeah, like a, two days later. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not like, like, oh, it's like oh, yeah, literally yeah. like a couple days later. But it yeah. like the descent is much better. The descent two is a little more cheesy. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like the um, ending for the American version just made it so much sillier. I don't know, like just cheesier. I feel like the the UK ending just made it a better. 
Well, yes. Film. The 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 American the reason why they did the American ending and the director was open to it. Just so you know, he it wasn't like something that um, yeah, that he, he was upset movie, about. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was open to it. Um, he had multiple endings that he had considered. It just tested really badly here in the yeah, United States. Mm, People were we like, like a happy ending. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Is it really a happy ending? <laughs> you know, well, she's I'd still at least one person. Left. I guess, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, I think you're right, Sarah. I think the UK ending. Uh, you know, you don't necessarily go to a movie like this to have a feel good mm. at the end of it. You know, you... Yeah, it was just I don't know. I just felt it. The American version just made it like a schlocky horror. Yeah. Whereas the UK version, like after, like because that when that's when I first saw, I was like, oh, mm. that's different, yeah. and it was more of like a, a I don't want to call it legit horror, but it was more of like, oh. That's cooler than the regular right. horror ending, you know? Right, right. Sure. Then I was very disappointed when yeah. I saw it. I was like, wait, what? Like, did I miss something? <laughs> like, did I miss something? Yeah. So this, uh, this film, before we say what we thought about it, um, this film actually did very, very well as far as um, critically and audience. 7.2 out of 10 on Internet Movie Database. Right. Uh, 86% critic, 76% audience on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. So when those numbers are close, it's usually legit. Yeah. You know? Just a couple of pieces of trivia that I found oh, before, yeah, yeah. Uh, that I thought was pretty cool. No real caves appear in any of this film. Yeah, well, these they cave sets. Like, no. Well, they, were, how would they? How would they? All built yeah. uh, at Pinewood. Oh, camera down there. Pinewood Studios in London, <laughs> which point. is a which is a very famous, <laughs> very famous studio in London, created by production designer Simon Bowles. Oh, look good though. Yeah, they yeah. use. They had, I think, uh, t- either twelve or twenty, something between twelve and twenty different set pieces mm-hmm. that they would modify, right, 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 to make like coming from different oh, directions cool. and whatnot. I thought it was interesting. I'm not going to read it verbatim here, but mm-hmm. I thought it was interesting that they did not tell the ladies what the creatures looked like. Oh, okay. They were separated for the entire production, also, which is pretty interesting. So. During breaks and during lunch, mm. the crawlers were not allowed to hang out with, oh. with the, the, the cave, uh, the, you know, the, the spelunkers. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And the first time that you see the creature mm. is actually in the background. Yeah. yeah. And the cast did not know this. This was a shot that the director set up. Oh. So they didn't see it. They didn't know that that was going to happen. And mm. when they finally did see the creatures, uh-huh. the reaction uh-huh. is genuine. Yeah. yeah, because that was the first time that they actually got to see the creatures Ooh, on the yeah. film set, oh my God. and supposedly they had to cut because they all started screaming and yelling and laughing oh, because yeah. they were laughing about it because yeah. they thought you know how how funny they were, yeah, how they felt they were scared and they they were laughing yeah, because well, they were all professionals. Yes, yeah. they were all professionals and yeah. Well, so. this, I thought it was funny the first time we, because like, yeah, like he runs around the back or whatever, mm-hmm. and someone like catches a glimpse, and then but then when he first like appears, appears, he's just like standing there, cause just like on the camera, and yeah. he's just like chilling, like next to them, like what are we doing? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> hey, they, girls, we're spelunking. Right they now? were very, yeah, they were very interesting creatures. The way they portrayed them, and another they must of, be like dancers. The way no, that they crawl this, okay, around. Okay, so this is what's interesting. I'm I'm glad you mentioned that yeah. because. Uh, another piece of trivia was the director did not want dancers. He did not want <laughs> stunt people. These were all legitimate actors. But how can they crawl around that, like that? That's they the were scale. good. They yeah oh. yeah wow yeah. Well, they would not have hired us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> been rolling around. <laughs> We like the parkour episode of the office parkour episode. Yeah. <laughs> the noisiest I would like pretend creature. I was dead already. I'm like, oh, yes. I'm already dead. Don't get me. Yes, it's fine. The... Well, yeah, I would have been the person just following them. Like, <laughs> like, where are we going? Are we getting out of here? Okay. Hey, ladies, you got any more apples? Yeah. <laughs> got any snacks? I think when that crawler got up, it went... <laughs> 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 He he was like, it's tight down hanging here. out my blood pool. <laughs> Blood's fine, ladies. Come on in. So this was a little gross. This movie. It was a little. It was gory. more gross than I remember yes. it too. When I saw, it, I was like, oh, uh-oh. and I mentioned, oh. I mentioned we were we were texting while some of us were watching the film, yeah. like simultaneously, a la <laughs> Mystery Science Theater three thousand. Uh, and I'm like, this film is very crunchy and very squishy. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I was telling Sarah that bit didn't get me too much because I had just watched Squid Game. Okay. Yeah. Which is pretty gory. Yeah. yeah. So that I was like going in. I was like, okay. And like I said, once we got to the creatures, I was like, all right, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do the fine. creatures. Yeah, yeah. But the tight spaces when she was no, that's. 
That's what got me at first. Yeah. I was oh. like, oh. That's what I was like, yeah. Sarah, is this a whole movie of tight space? I thought it was going to be That's no creatures and just yeah. all this like tight space like getting suffocated. And I was like, yeah. I won't watch this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was bad, right? Yeah, that's horrible. So what you just said is what I was hoping the movie was going to be. Well, it, no. Because <laughs> for me... So, so no, I agree with yeah. you completely. Like that's a nightmare. No. So, so I, and this segues to something I wanted to ask Sarah, since mm-hmm. you are the horror person here. Mm-hmm. What makes you enjoy a horror film? What kind of horror, or what makes you enjoy the horror? What is the is the is it just something that you would enjoy? Do you like to be scared? I like. Do you well, like to, I don't like gory films. Like okay. I, like hostile. I don't mm. like those movies. Mm. Like I'm not big on gore. Like Saw almost mm-hmm. is kind of like mm-hmm. that. I mean, that's kind of the first Saws were good, but mm. mm. anyway. But I'll watch it. Mm-hmm. But I don't like it. <laughs> like it's not like I like I like uh, I like sci-fi fantasy horror more. Is my like you're more yeah. into the suspense, uh, uh, or or are you like you just it like depends. the science fiction aspect? I, and I like uh, paranormal. Right stuff. Okay. I guess I don't know. I just so like, if oh. it was a film of just tight spaces, would you still consider that a horror film for for myself? Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I mean, but that's like uh, what was that Ryan Reynolds movie where he was like buried alive, and it's just him in a casket like the whole movie. Oh yeah, uh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Like to me, I was like, Ugh. that's not horror. But to me, I was yeah. like very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, mm. right, this was not my. My 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 jam. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but if it was, for me, a for a horror film that will like affect me, like mm-hmm. keep me up at night and disturb mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. is the the real life horror of yeah. real of reality. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what what did get me at this at this first half of the movie when she gets stuck. Yeah, yeah. Having that panic yes. panic attack, yeah. I was like, oh, I feel you. I w- you know, like, and she's like half out because yes. she can kind of, she yeah. can still talk and she's kind of, so it's not even like being but in she's a, like frozen, in like a, I can't right? move. Like, yeah. It's not even like being in a coffin where you can't do anything. She can kind of move her head yeah. and she can see, you can like see someone else, but you can't move your bit. <laughs> you can't turn around. Like, yeah, you, oh, oh, I know. No, yeah, no. the not turning around is like, it's you a can't lot, right? crawl back. Yeah. Oh my God. There's, there's a place. Why would you even do yeah. it? Why? Would you even do it in the first place? What well, that's the thing. Like I said, I would not be the first person to person. be, oh, we don't know what's ahead. You go first. I what? Know. It's one thing if you're well. walking outside, you don't know what's ahead, but to crawl through a space, what possesses someone? We need a spelunking expert on the show because I need to ask. I don't know. I don't and how do they like, how do they know they're going to fit? It's not like cats with their whiskers where they like, no. They don't. That's what <laughs> I'm like, saying. Yeah. They so, like, how do you know you're going to fit? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> so there's there's a place up in New Hampshire. I, f- I forgot it, what it's called. It's a tourist attraction where it's got a, a boardwalk and you walk through all these craggly rocks and waterfalls and kind of mm-hmm. stuff. And there's a section that branches off mm-hmm. and it allows you the opportunity to experience this thing mm-hmm. where you need to squeeze no. through this space. It's a very short space. I would say it's probably more than six feet. Oh, less. No. That's not short. That's not less short. than less than less than ten feet. Okay. <clears throat> there is a there is a um, there is a, a tester out front before you go into the cave. What does that mean? You oh, know, so like a, a piece fit? of a piece of um, a, like a piece of wood uh-huh. yeah, so that says this is what yeah. the the width is. Uh-huh. Do you crawl? So you, probably, like, you have to crawl. Is it crawling or you're, shimmying? No, you're crawling. Oh, hell. You're on your you're on your belly. So, so my wife and I did the tester, and we passed the test, quote unquote. Uh, your wife is tiny. She's she probably yeah, she is, a yes, mouse she hole. was fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, sure, and this was her. this was the issue. Is the issue was I let her go through first, which was bad because I saw her do it, and I she was, was like, "It's a mansion in here." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could have a cup of tea, yeah. and, you know. I can. Well, yeah. She just twirled. Yeah. Right yes. <laughs> so, so, so I watch her go through, and you can see the other end. Just right. so you know, yeah. you can see the other end. Yeah. So I watch her go through, mm. and I go through, and just you know, for those of you who don't know me, I do have the pasta gut. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so I'm not like svelte. Yeah. Um, I got halfway through, and I got stuck, and it was the worst. It was probably just for a, a minute, but it was, a long time. it was the worst time of my <laughs> life. The first thing that I thought was, let me go backwards. Uh-huh. But you really can't go backwards because you can't see uh-huh. where you're going. Uh-huh. Long story short, 
I did make uh-huh. it through. Does it? Is it You're the same? Here. Wait, is it the same width the whole time, or does it get like smaller? No, it gets smaller, and then it opens up. So again. would you just like do a Don't deep? T- so I, it I did a deep inhale, <laughs> and and I had my wife on the other end, kind of like you know, saying, "All right, you can, you know, you can do this. It's okay. You're not, you know, I could yeah. see you. Cause it's, like you could see yeah, the other so side. That's a, that's what makes it worse almost. Yes, you could see the other side. <laughs> So seeing that scene brought that memory back. And if that was the entire movie, this would have been a home run horror for me. (laughs) Can I just tell you, I went to um, the Philadelphia Franklin Museum, right? Uh Which is like kind of a kid's museum also. And they had this life, like not life size, a gigantic size heart. Okay. Right? Like your heart. Yes. And you're supposed to crawl through. Yeah. And it's, of course, it's meant for kids, but I'm like, I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. And I had like a mini panic attack going through these little angel heart chambers. And I'm like, and when I was with Rocky at the time, and I was like, Rocky, get me out of here. And the little <laughs> kids like scurrying around me. And I'm like, mm. yeah. And yeah, because it was like a tight little tube. And I'm like, oh my God, what was I thinking? This was for children, not for adults. Like, yeah. No, it, it, yeah. Was, it, was, it was a, a bad experience. So that's the reason why. Um, well, I'll let you tell me what you think of the f- film, and then I'll you'll you'll get what my rating is. So, so um, Sarah, what did you think on a scale of one to one to ten? The Descent, two thousand and five. Well, I don't know if it aged as good as I would have hoped it would have. Like, it's not like the thing. You know, I made you guys watch the thing, and yeah. to me, that's always a classic. Yeah, I don't know if it's quite on the same same la level as that, but I still enjoyed it. So I'll still give it an eight because I still feel like they're the first ones to do like the claustrophobic thing. It's an all women led cast. Mm-hmm. And so I think for the time it was pretty, pretty good. So mm-hmm. I, I stick by my, okay. I would still recommend it to people. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Nicole. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I think, uh, well, you got a little taste of how I watch movies when I was texting. Yes. <laughs> so this movie was very fun for me. The cheating aspect I actually enjoyed quite a bit. Okay. <laughs> it gave me a lot to say uh-huh. while I was watching it. <laughs> so I really, I had fun with that part. <laughs> I do think that if you cheat with your friend's husband, mm-hmm. You and you remain friends. Mm -hmm. The activities you choose together should be chosen wisely. (laughs) (laughs) And I would not recommend anything with sharp objects (laughs) or spelunking. (laughs) I would say at best you might go to brunch. (laughs) Uh, This not the move, not the move, you know. So I had a real good time with Steve just screaming about that. (laughs) So I definitely give it like eight and a half, nine. I think it's fun movie to watch. It It was good and it's fun too. So yeah. All yeah. right, the first forty-five minutes of this film, <laughs> I I give I give a ten, yes, uh-huh. because it de- like I said, it, it it definitely set something off, and it was yeah. Uh, the second forty-five minutes with the with the um the crawlers and whatnot, yeah, I give it a seven point five, seven point five eight, you mm-hmm. know, kind of getting yeah. the eight. Uh, I do like the science fiction aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought it was I was glad that. They um, explain like she was like, oh, they 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 echolocation, and that that was kind of neat. I kind of yeah. like that kind of thing, and I did like the fact that these 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 women were able to hold their own yeah. because yeah. I thought that was very cool. Because in yeah. a lot of horror movies, mm-hmm. they don't. Yeah. You right. know, they're like, like the trope, oh right? no, yeah. first to go, uh, yeah. 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 final you know? girls, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But they were like, you know, they were mm-hmm. kicking butt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was a little, it was a little too too. Crunchy. And oh, squishy. I like that. Sarah's like <laughs> covered in blood. Yeah, like, I was out. like, yeah. I was like, she took on me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think she, well, I think she snapped a little. No, yeah. she did. She I like, don't think Juno deserved what she. I think they could have escaped the cave, and, and then, then, and then Sarah could have punched her, yeah. or done something. That would have been whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. What she did. I don't think it was. I don't think it fits in the crime. She the punishment lost, didn't she fit. She just lost her mind. Yeah. That would have been actually pretty awesome if the two of them got out and they were and in the car. She, like, and then she literally like <laughs> whacked her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. It was uh, an interesting film. I listened to it uh, using this the spatial audio, and that was something oh, special, I got to tell you. Well, that's why yours was extra crunchy and squishy. Yeah, it was oh, definitely extra yeah. crunchy because <laughs> yeah. it's behind you and it's, yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. So. All right, so that does it for another movie chat. Thank you very much, ladies. It was uh, very interesting. If you want to listen to our older movie chats or read our show notes, you can visit our website, mcplpodcast.com. If you have an idea for a future movie chat, you have a movie that you want us to watch and discuss, then uh, let us know, uh, podcast at mcplibrary.org. 
uh, hit that like button. Hit the sma- no, I'm sorry. Smash that like button. <laughs> smash that like button. Uh, subscribe to our uh, library YouTube channel. It's not just us. It's much more. All right. Channel. <laughs> imagine. Yes. Just can you imagine just us? Yes, we would be. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, but definitely yeah, take advantage of that. So for Sarah Fade and Nicole Rambo, I'm Sal DiVincenzo. We'll see you on the next show.